Shifting to Africa, hundreds of protesters have taken to the streets in the capital city of Kenya in support of women's rights. What sparked this massive demonstration? Well, the protest in Nairobi has been a long time coming in response to a recent series of violent attacks against women, attacks that protesters say have drawn little or no action by local authorities. But the final straw came after a woman was assaulted in broad daylight last week for no apparent reason other than wearing a miniskirt. Our Kim Minji has more. Hundreds of people have taken to the streets of Nairobi with a message. The woman had the right to wear what they want. Monday's rally was in response to an attack on a woman last week by a group of men who assaulted and stripped her naked for wearing a miniskirt. Protesters, many in miniskirts or crop tops, chanted, My dress, my choice, calling for an end to violence against women. This is a journey of liberation. It's not just about dressing. It's about liberation of women from oppression. The assault in Nairobi is hardly an isolated incident. Similar attacks on women for dressing indecently have also taken place in other Kenyan cities like Nakuru and Mombasa. Arrest those people, they're criminals. Any person who touched that woman should be arrested and charged for sexual offenses. That was sexual assault. Some, however, voiced opposition to the protest, saying women should be more responsible for what they wear. Boys have got responsibility. You cannot go dressing and out doing whatever you do. We have to be responsible as women. No. You can't show us your battles. Kenya's deputy president has condemned the attack as barbaric and called for those that carried it out to be arrested. But there are doubts about a breakthrough in the conservative country where sex crimes are rarely punished. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.